all right it's race day once again and this is gonna be my last race in australia for at least this season and uh, as far as i know for quite a while uh, but we're getting ready to go to heartland speedway heartland raceway moama and we're gonna do the late model racing victoria race out there so the car is in here all loaded up in the trailer and uh it's about a four hour drive to the track so we're leaving it's about 10 a.m and uh we're gonna head out Race cars here. Get ready to go. Heartland Speedway Moama. Okay, so I've just had a look at the track and it looks like they're watering the middle and high side, but not the bottom. The track is pretty flat, but it does have a little bit more blanking than the last place I went to. Looks like, uh, Judging by the corners, they tighten up on exits, so I'm thinking we're going to end up having to dime in the corner off a little bit, but we'll see how that theory holds up when we get out there. Alright, so I'm going to give you guys all an update on what all we did to this car since last time it was out. So uh, last time I drove this car, you guys saw at uh, Redline during the Victorian title, uh, we were running pretty well and then uh, a lap car spun and we got kind of tangled up in it. And uh, nothing on the car was straight, save for like a couple of shocks. Honestly, every single panel was destroyed and uh, we had to beat it all down flat and put it all back together. And I've been pretty much working nonstop for the last two weeks on this car to get it back ready to race. And uh, it's been a whole heck of a lot of work to get it back together. We did all the suspension and components and we had to make sure it got done right. So we double checked everything, caster, camber, toe in, um, even bump steer we were looking at. And I've never done bump steer before. So uh, with uh, the help of Phil, Danny, and uh, John, we all took care of the, the bump steer. It took us a long time to get it sorted out on this car because we were all kind of relearning how to do it. They haven't done it for about 10 years. So, um, but we're gonna go out for hot laps now and I'm gonna see how the car feels after we put it all back together. We found a couple of problems with the car, uh, like a J-bar issue that it was kind of binding up a little bit. So we figured out, sorted out all those issues. So hopefully the car drives a little bit better tonight. Uh, he was already driving pretty well. Uh, last time I was in the car, it was got a, got a little tight in the center later on in the race. And I don't know why. It could have been because of some damage we received in the race. It could have been a multitude of things. So we're just gonna treat this night as if it's a new race, new night just gonna try to learn what we can um, as we go out for hot laps but you know I always like to say you can't learn anything from hot laps because the track is a mess and uh, it always changes between hot laps and the heat so but uh you know we'll see if we have any major problems and if we don't we should be set up for a good night in the heat race I'm starting on the pole on the first heat and then I'm going to be starting in last in the second heat because that's how they do it here uh, like I've said in my other previous videos in Australia they like to do two separate heat races one normal one inverted you get a total of points in all of those heat races combined and uh, then you uh, take the top total and they start on the pole second top and you know kind of goes back down through the field so it's actually a really fair way of doing things and uh, I'll be honest back home how we do it with uh, a <laughs> at least where I race one heat race that's it and if you don't like that you can stuff it so um, I'm pretty happy with that here and we get to do a little bit more laps than we do at home so uh, yeah Jeez, I'm talking a lot. Uh, I'm gonna get in the race car now and do some racing.
and there was a huge wet spot going into one. I hit it and I slid way up and I let two cars back past me, past them on the outside and then, uh, well, I passed one car on the outside and then there was a restart and I started right behind, uh, I was in second and I knew I couldn't hit that wet spot going into one. Well, the leader fortunately snuck into that wet spot, slid up the track a little bit and I was able to dart right underneath him and sneak right on past. And then I kept the lead ever since uh, and uh, we had a pretty fair lead, so um, uh, hopefully we can keep that going. But the next heat race, how they do it, I'm gonna start last. So uh, we'll see if we can pass some cars and uh, we'll see how close we can start to the pole. But uh, it felt really, really good right now. And um, we'll have to do the tire shuffle for the feature, but man, it uh, feels good to get my first win of sorts, first good luck of sorts in a, uh, here in Australia. <laughs> So, all right, so we get ready for the second heat.
our steering and I think oh. we lost the oil pump.
I'm sure you enjoyed your little stint here in Australia, especially around the big Silicon Heart, where this is uh, something you're used to, these bigger tracks. Yeah, this is a lot like home here, and uh, oh my goodness, that was so much fun. Let me tell you something, um, Danny Amato and Julia Amato put their faith in me, uh, inviting me out to drive their car. We only met, you know, for about a week, and they put their faith in me, and it's all the credit to them, and I know my mom and dad are watching back home, so, oh, that was quite the thrill. I mean, that's the closest I've ever been probably to winning a race in my life, and uh, just, <laughs> well, no, sorry, let me, let me rephrase that. Winning in a late model, so, oh my goodness, but that was so much fun. I'm psyched. <laughs> When, when do you go back to Lumberg and next Tuesday you side? Yeah, this coming Tuesday I go back and uh, the adrenaline will probably still be pumping on the plane. I'll be shaking all the way home. But man, oh, I've got to thank everybody. The, Phil and Danny and, uh, and John Pine and everybody that helped put this car back together. And uh, like we took, this car was toast two weeks ago. and. I don't know, I, I feel like I won the race, I'm sorry. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> really excited. And uh, Joe Raskin, uh, Danny is an Australian racing product car. Oh, like, and uh, Danny oh. brought his family out here to race it. Good to see you. Yeah, the last one passed, um, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Unfortunately. Good morning for the last time, Australia. That's it for this year. We're heading out. Got all my stuff packed and uh, boy, what an experience. The kindness here has been above and beyond anything I ever would have expected. And uh, Danny and Julie with Australian Racing Products behind me, um, selling race parts to Victoria, they really took care of me. And uh, it's just the generosity I never would have expected coming out here. So off we go to depart for the airport. All ready? Yep, I'm all ready. We got everything? We got everything. Yep. 